Okay, today we're going to show you how to replace the bottom plate of a wall. So you may run into this a lot where you get some wood at the bottom plate of your stud wall that's either rotted out from water or from termites. Now we know we had termites in here, but this down here we suspect may have been from water. So you can see if we push on it with a foot there, you can see how it just, it's all mush. So probably between the water and the termites, this bottom plate has just been totally disintegrated. So we're going to have to pull this out and replace it, but you probably are wondering, well, how do you do that after it's all been put up and is there a load on it or anything? Well, as you can tell, when we look up at the top, this is not a load bearing wall uh, because the load bearing comes this way off of this wall. This wall is the load bearing wall. This wall is not. There's nothing above the, the top plate on those there. So what we have to do here is just start to remove the disintegrated material, but also we have to use the sawzall to get underneath these studs here. And remember, there's nails pointing up into these studs from when they laid this down on the ground and built this. And uh, we also got lucky here that the builder never secured this bottom plate to the floor. There's no anchor, there's no nail or any, anything. Whereas if you look at this wall over here, you can see we shot them in with a one of the nail guns there, let's see, the rem set. So what we have to do over here then is we're going to slice underneath. There's probably two nails in each stud with the sawzall. So we're going to show you that process right now. So there's the first one, and you can see it goes really quick. You have the right blade in your sawzall for metal for nails. And you just do all of the rest of the studs in that same fashion. Here on the back side of that plate, you can see just how badly it was disintegrated. This was most likely from termites. We saw termite mud in their tubes going up the inside of the drywall on the other side. But it's like this the whole way down. And then here you can see more of the termite activity on the baseboard that we pulled off. So as we pull out the bottom plate, you can see what we've done is we've put these blocks under them. Now this is not a load bearing wall, so we don't have to build up ceiling braces or anything first. So we've just stuck these under here. And if we need to add more shims to get these up a little higher, we will do that. But right now these are fairly loose, so I think we'll be okay once we get the new bottom plate. It should be able to slide in underneath it pretty good. Here you can see we finally removed the bottom plate. All the studs are now resting on their spacers here. And we're now going to cut the new bottom plate and slide it into place. Okay, so here we are on the other side of the wall and we're starting to insert this new bottom plate here. And you can see what we're gonna do is as soon as we push it in against these blocks here, they'll push them out from under the studs and the bottom plate will take their place. So that's what we're doing here. We need to knock it down towards the wall. So now we have to hammer it down into the wall there. All right, so here's the base plate already installed. Now we're just going to have to toenail in place. That means we're going to take our frame nailer and we're going to come in at an angle like this with the nails and run them straight in here and shoot them in and they'll go at a diagonal through the stud and through the base plate like that. <laughs> 